up here is Congressman Tim Walls. We're going to do the working grim. We're going to put you in the middle. Got it. All right. All right. Boy, we command a lot of respect. Well, yeah. yeah. We'll do a little bit of a photo op and then we'll let Tim say hello and then we'll just close it up. One, two, three. He thinks I'm just saying hello. <laughs> well, I know you longer than that. Thanks for your comments. No? Yeah, thank you. Okay, Roger, do you want to say anything? Well, I, you know, I would just say that we, uh, we work uh, with Thank both parties out in Congress. We do our best job to try and get along with everybody. Uh, and frankly, you here in Minnesota are pretty lucky because uh, you've got some members of the A Committee that are really superstars. Uh, and uh, Timmy's one of them. We, uh, we rely a lot on him in implementing our policy and bringing issues to the all right, Congressman Walls. Well, first of all, thank you to all of you uh, for being out here. Thanks for the work you do. Uh, to Roger and his team, uh, I oftentimes wondered this as a teacher. I would pay my teacher's dues to the union, wondered what happened and where, where it would go when I was just teaching. And now being on the other side of it, wondering what it means to have a unified voice in Washington when you got Roger testifying on the committees that are going to impact legislation that are going to impact your lives. It's absolutely critical to have him there. And uh, I think that common sense, uh, calm, reassuring, and in this day and age, you hear it at the forum too, I think America needs a little bit of optimism. We need a little bit of what we can do to yeah. make things. So, uh, I I see that, you see it at the state level, with Doug and Tom and the whole team. Um, I take this very proudly. When I first ran, I was that high school teacher that said I was going to run in that tough district and upset a setting congressman. And uh, one of the very first groups who said, we'll stand with you and give you help was Farmers Union. And I will never forget that. Um, you're either gamblers or you're smart. But, um, you figured it out that time and you went on. And farmers. And, uh, I'm proud to provide that voice. There's solutions out there. Uh, it means a lot. I think all of you, I'm not going to tell you that uh, I oftentimes say this, and I think we're going to have to. Don't judge us against the Almighty. Judge us against the alternative sometimes. And, uh, and in this case, we're going to have to take that nationally. You may not be totally happy, but the alternative is simply not acceptable. So we're not going to get the Almighty, but we can get some good adults, sane people. Uh, you're going to hear from one in a minute, which it's not often you get to pick up a seat, we're going to have that opportunity to pick up a seat, um, and, and that'll make a big difference on our voice. So thank you all. I proudly take this. My golden triangles are some of my proudest uh, achievements. We have a wall where when I'm feeling bad, I go, look how great I am with those things. So, and only me goes in there. But thank you all. Also, we have endorsed uh, for Congress Angie Craig, and uh, she'll come in the middle here. So. Whoop, there you go. No, you know. <laughs> Good. Uh, she's going to be running for Congress, and uh, she has also demonstrated for endorsement to a political action committee uh, her ability to understand farms and understand farm policy, and then, of course, when she doesn't know, to take advice. And that's probably the biggest thing, is the advice that we can provide for, for members of Congress. So with that, I want to thank you on your endorsement from the National Farmers Union Political So I, I can't thank you enough for this endorsement. Um, many of you know I'm running in the open congressional seat that Congressman Klein is retiring from this election cycle and uh, I took the opportunity on the drive up here to call my 90 year old grandmother. Uh, my grandfather was a farm hand in Arkansas for most of my childhood and I grew up uh, on the tractor with him. So I'm telling you, uh, if you read about me in the newspaper, just remember these issues and policies uh, are not abstract to me. Our family depended on the farming community in my early childhood. So. 
I look forward to working with you. I look forward to working hard. Uh, and my grandmother thanks you so much. Uh, my grandfather's gone now, uh, but she was really proud to hear this morning that I was coming to accept the endorsement from the Minnesota Farmers Union. So thank you so much, and I look forward to serving you in Washington. Thank you. Yeah. He's, he's coming. He's got a few minutes away. So Colin is not here yet, so we'll turn the fan back on. <laughs> That's kind of important. Uh, you know, if you don't have warmth, you don't have props. So this is what we this is what we what we live for. So he units. He units. Gotta have the